Welcome back, YouTubers. Johnny Boy Lopez here, and I am in Steadfast Studios with my brother, Ayo Cam. Brother, how you doing? I'm good, bro. You man, know thank you for being here with me, man. I know you had a long weekend and everything. Most a long definitely. Week me, so most definitely. I thank you for being here and tapping in with me, man. We're going to get right into it, man. So originally I'm from Salinas, California, but you know what I'm saying. Me and my me and my two older brothers we moved out here. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, like 2003, and so like I grew I grew up here. You know what I'm saying. I grew up right here. Okay. For, for, from from in Merced, okay. uh, the 209. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to 209. Hey, hey, uh, but uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So so that's where I'm from. You know what I mean. Like as far as that goes. But, you know what I mean? Shout out to Merced, shout out to Selena, she from the baby. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, how did you get the name A.O. Cam? Man, that's funny. I, I always say this, it's, it's funny too. Look, okay, so, like, everybody who calls my name literally just be like, Ayo. They be like, Ayo Cam. Yeah. Ayo Cam. And so, literally, I was like, you know, one day I was like, I was like, yo, I need to take this and just, like, that's gonna be my name. Actually, it was like, before that, it was it was killer. Everybody called yeah, me Killer Cam. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, that's how I first was introduced to you. <laughs> I know you knew me. Yeah, yeah. Right. So everybody used to call me Killer Cam, and then uh, and then so pretty much like I was like I can't be going around. First of all, Dipset had camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, he yeah. would be Killer. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. So they already had somebody that was that was Killer Cam, and then and then after that too, I wasn't killing nobody. So I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a peaceful but you dude. Were, you was killing it in a different way. Yeah, I was yeah, killing yeah. it in a different way. Sauce. Right, I was yeah. killing it with the sauce. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't, but I didn't, I, you know what I'm saying? It really wasn't the, the image I was portraying. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so everybody, I actually, it tra I transformed it, you know what I'm saying? So from Killer Cam, I didn't want to be Cameron because that was already Killer Cam. So I was like, all right, I'm going to just take the killer. And I took it and it was Ayo Killer. Yeah. Right? Because it was always Ayo Cam. And then it was like, Ayo Killer Cam, Killer Cam. And so I was like, all right, let me just take that Killer Cam out. I started piecing my name together and trying it in a whole bunch of different ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it was funny too. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, okay, let me take the AO killer, knock the killer off, bring the cam back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then. Ayo Cam was born and it was it was it that stuck. that was it stuck way better. I don't know. I kinda wanted to have my name in my name too. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah. Like so Johnny Boy. Like, yeah, I feel it. Like, I, feel, I was the same way. Like, yeah. I didn't I didn't want it to be like, you know, my government name. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. But I was like, let me got like that like, person. People touch. know me. Yeah. For me. I'm me. You know what I'm saying? It's Cam with a K. You did. Yeah. Like, okay, it was like this, like, you get on a school bus and people knew, like, they had our, our, our CD. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, people was talking about it, talking about my brothers who were, you know, like, out of school at the time or, or like, had, you know, I don't think they were out of school, but they just, you know, we rode on different buses, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, so my younger group, right, you know what I'm saying, I was younger, I was the youngest in... The Flyboy group, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to the Burger King. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we did big things back Very in the day. Very influential. Super influential yes, in like definitely. Central Valley hip hop culture. Facts, I don't big know, facts. Yes, you know what I'm yes. But um, anyways, like so, we were doing our thing like at a young age. I was in, I was the youngest, so yeah. I was just kind of like following suit with my two older brothers, you know what I'm saying? But we, we were already popular in school and, and whatnot. We dressed different, cause we cut, like I said, I'm not originally from here, but it was like, we still we still kind of like, it just had a different little flair, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely. And then so, after a while, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we started doing the music thing. We met up with a producer named P007. We called, or his name was Pelton, but we called him P007, Nick, you know what I'm saying? That was his name. And he produced the first Flyboy tape. You know dope, what I'm saying? Dope, that, dope, it was it, yeah, shout out, man. shout out to him. That was big. You yeah, know what no, shout out to my impactful. brothers. Like I said, I was following suit. Like uh, you know what I'm saying? I was a kid playing sports and whatnot. But then you know, 
we started getting older, mm. started getting with the music, the clothes, and yeah, yeah. all that, you know what I'm saying? Just like everybody kind of like grow it a little bit and get a little sauce to it, yeah, or a evolving. little style. Yeah, you, guys, you gotta, yeah, we started evolving, exactly, I like you that. You guys were definitely impactful in many ways, you know, so that that's dope that you guys at a young age kind of honed in on that you yeah know? so like a lot I of people said, would we, let that go when to waste. We, when like okay so this is how we started rapping though it's funny i, I gotta tell you this because this is the, the rawness yeah this is the raw story i hope y'all yeah. use this cut yeah like uh uh we used to just rap in the bedroom you know what i'm saying like like it like when one of us got in trouble mm. like we would go to their room like me and my brothers we would go hang out in whoever's in jails. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you locked yeah, up right yeah. now. You grounded, you whatever. You can't come out the room, whatever. We gonna go chill in your room or whatever. And we'd do like little prank calls on the phone. We just entertain each other because we was like each other's best friends. Yeah, real talk. That's dope. And uh, and then so like, but then, then after a while, like we start doing these like little one liner. I don't know where it came from. Probably my oldest brother Pico. Shout out to Pico. Shout out to Pico. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it probably came from him. He started, he was more hip hop, like rap. He's listening to a lot of Tupac, a lot of Dipset, mm -hmm. a lot of like, you know, Jada Kiss. And yeah. play, people I never would have heard of if it wasn't for him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But anyway, so my brother would, um, you know what I mean? Like basically like spit a couple lines to us and, and be like, some, 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 some. Yeah. And then like, it would be like, okay, you finish it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like a puzzle. And then so we would have three of us. So like, you know what I'm saying? So like, we just kind of like be rapping with each other. And eventually the lines got longer, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then like, that's kind of like, I think where like the whole rapping thing like became a thing. Then we started actually writing it down and mm -hmm. to Take a beat. Take it I'm getting faded off this liquor. I'm turning up with all my so Live Me is a live streaming app, right? Mm -hmm. It's a it's a live streaming app, but that's like the main focus of the app. It's like, but it has like all the components of an Instagram, a Snapchat, all that into it. So it's lit. It's super lit. We on right we now. We on Live Me right now. We on Live Me. You know plus, what I'm you know what I mean? Shout we on our show. You know what I mean? So y'all tap in with the Indie we Experiment live. on Live Me. You yes, know what I mean? tap in with the Indie Experiment. Everybody. Yes, Step Fast Studios. On YouTube. That's where this is going to be. So you guys can check it out. I'll definitely be posting it. I was about to become a YouTuber. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I was looking at it in certain ways. I, honestly, let's be honest. Like, I was trying to make money. And then... I was trying to find a way to like promote myself with this music thing, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta find a different door. Like uh, I, I wanted to find a platform. I didn't want to just keep dropping music and then nobody like ever like hear it. You know what I'm saying? Or like, and then I realized, okay, well maybe I want to get liked by people first. You know what I'm saying? Like so, yeah, yeah. so I thought that would be a, yeah, build my audience first and then actually give them the music like here's a tape or something like that yeah, definitely. Uh, or here's a project that I've been working on here like you know but you got to like me first yeah you definitely. know what I'm saying so I felt like that's kind of like where the culture is at right now yeah you know what I'm saying so, yeah that's the way and it's so like um so my brother was I was just about to become a youtuber because I was like let me start a YouTube channel like I'm cool enough and funny enough to just like make I can put and I'm intelligent enough to make this work yeah, you know what I'm saying like I can do it myself I got a camera yeah. you know what I'm saying like I see I've been YouTuber video how to become a YouTuber yeah, like, yeah. all you gotta do is type it in right yeah, like, you're you studying. Know right so I did my little homework and I was about to, as soon as I was just about to start my channel I just bought a camera and all this stuff like you know and um my brother was one day like it looked like he was FaceTiming because he was talking to his phone, but then it, it was a picture of himself. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, and I was like, what are you doing? Like, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, it's, it's live me, you know what I'm saying? It's an app, I guess, like, you know what I'm saying? You just live stream. So I'm like, oh, what? So like other people are live right now? Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm, he's like, yeah. So he's like, you know, showing me the app or whatever. And uh, shout out to my brother Pico, because hey, honestly, like, without him showing me this, we wouldn't even be having this interview. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was crazy, man. Like, I, as soon as I saw it, I saw a lot of people, like, doing cool stuff. And then I saw a lot of people just kind of 
really boring, just chilling. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just not really nothing that you really want to watch, but, and then like, but there were some people who would keep your attention and they were like funny and they were interesting to watch and you really couldn't take your eyes off them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, cause it's, it's cool. Cause it's like, they're in your phone and this is a real person and- It's happening live. And it's yeah. live, it's happening yeah. right now. You're in their world. In real time. It's a window to their world. And that's you know so what I mean? dope, you know? Yeah. And then Especially I, in this day and age where people stuff like that you know you're more connected than ever yeah we we really connected yeah. shout out to live me yeah shout out to live <laughs> we real connected uh and it shows you how fast people can connect and how many people are actually using these cell phones and like mm. and just like surfing all over the internet like yeah. it's a real mind trip yeah, you know what yeah I'm saying? for sure for sure so My favorite sport, man. Ah, uh, man. It's gotta be football. Okay. It's okay. gotta be football. And Even though I love basketball. With a passion, I love yeah. watching basketball too, but man, I play football with a passion. I mm -hmm. play every position. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't like supposed to even play yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, like, yeah like i just i don't know anybody who plays football they just got a different type of mentality oh yeah definitely, like, definitely and it's it's a lot of discipline to it too mm -hmm. you know what definitely. i'm saying i feel like there's a lot of discipline and i that was good for me what is your uh favorite football like a little team? military like you oh don't yeah go definitely to, you don't gotta definitely. you don't gotta send your kid to the military just put them in football like, you know what i'm saying <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> you want to get them straight, yeah. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Like have them running make sure they on the real team. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> so, uh, what is your favorite football team? Uh, oh, the Eagles, man. We the got Eagles. the champs, okay, man. Okay, okay. The champs. You feel me? That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Man. We we got one. Yeah. We how were you? How were you feeling with man. that, man? It was crazy. Yeah. I felt like I won. Yeah. Of you know course. Of course. And anybody like that's a fan of a Super Bowl winning team. You're gonna feel like, just like the world is right there. Oh man. my gosh! Now, and and it, when you <laughs> stay down through all those losses, exactly, you gotta stay down through the losses, y'all. That's what it's really about. Yeah, you stay down through the losses. Then when you get one, like we got one last year, versus the Patriots, Tom Brady. Yeah. You know we got the backup quarterback Nick Foles, yep. who actually should have been the starting quarterback from the gate. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But that, that was some old. That's all stuff. political. Anyway, yeah, that's yeah, political. Yeah, yeah. Politics, politics, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But hey, man, it was beautiful to, to, to get that. I was also, I felt like Kevin Hart. Like, I was trying to jump through the TV. <laughs> I get, get on up stage. on that stage. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I should be there. Yo, that was one of the there. most funniest <laughs> shits, one of the most funniest memes ever, bro. It was big, it was man. To I, could, I could dig it. And everybody no, everybody yeah. that was a true true Eagles fan yeah. could dig it. No, but I've been a Philly fan since, since, since I could remember because you know, they have black quarterbacks. And I, was, yeah. I was always a big fan of the black quarterback, man. You know what I'm saying? Like and Andy Reid, McNabb, Cunningham, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was uh, history. History. It was history, and I don't know. Like, you just don't see that a lot. Like, we play every position, mm -hmm. but, but the leader. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. And I, I like to see that. And uh, so that's why I was a big Eagles fan for a long time. Yeah. Even though we got Nick Foles now, but, you know. He likes sunshine from Remember the Titans. <laughs> like, you know what I'm bro, he hella does. He's like, sunshine. Bro, that's crazy. That's sunshine. crazy. Sunshine. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, who trying to be? We bossing up like every day. You better join my team. My broadcast will give you a little I know it's a lot of talent out here. I can say that from the game. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's underrated talent, too. It's like unknown Big talent. Facts. I don't know. I, don't, I think the culture is coming together, but it's just really slowly like it has these spurts of great moments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, where it's like, oh my goodness, like Merced's about to be on the map. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, or one of the artists is about to pop or something like that. Um, but then it usually like dies down. Like, so it's like waves right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we're trying to get a tsunami going. Yeah, I feel soon. that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the scene is, 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 is alive. Mm -hmm. For Definitely. sure. And it's thriving. That's for sure. I think the, the, sh the hip hop culture is getting more. It's more like involved. Uh, I think a lot of people that first like started it are kind of like at that age where now they're kind of like helping like run more of the events mm -hmm. and Definitely. things like behind the scenes, like orchestrating it. Yeah, you know yeah. So it's like 
now it's like, you know, the people that were always trying to get the shows are throwing the shows now, and it's like, uh, and it's helping the culture grow. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like, it's helping it be more like, like involved and, and like genuine. Yeah, you know and we need that, especially, yeah. you know, in this day and age where everybody, uh, you know, is trying to find something that, like we were talking on off air, that has some little bit of substance, you know, we, something that you can connect to, really, you know, so with all the artists doing so many dope, influential things with us all coming together, I think that, you know, like you said, that big tsunami wave is just, it's gonna yeah, take over man, everything. Nah, like, you know, it's, it's some work. Yeah. Right now that's oh, going yeah. on. I think 2019 is going to be a huge year. Oh, yeah. I know it's going to be a big year for, for me and my people, but I know for a fact, like, I think Merced in general, the 209, mm -hmm. like, you know, from, like, the Dancedo area, and all the way stretching towards Fresno and everything. We already rock with a lot of good Fresno artists. Yeah, Shout out yeah, to the Fresno artists. Shout out to the homies in the 559. Yeah. Yeah. So... Boy, just a hard working nine to five. I keep the dank to myself. I am nobody's supplier. I don't tote the macaroni, but I'm all about the cheese. And I keep away from phonies and the bitch. Okay. It's definitely the beat first. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we gotta go. Uh, I like, like, if I don't get a beat from somebody that I already know, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, a producer that I already work with. Yeah. Then, you know, I'll probably try to find one. And then if I like this beat, I'll try to, like, you know, purchase, lease it, or whatever. If I love it, I'm gonna try to get that exclusive. You yeah, me? definitely. Real beats. I like beats that have instruments in them. Mm, okay. Like real instruments. Live instrumentation. Live instruments. Like yeah. I like trumpets. I like saxophones and like like stuff you can like like somebody could play this mm -hmm. along to this uh, if I was to do a live show or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Like I could bring out a, a, a you know a whole piano and have somebody come. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Get down. That makes it better live, you know. Yeah. And people appreciate that type of a show. Yeah, it's big. It's big. And then, uh, so, so I try to look for beats like with some sort of live sound or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, that usually gives me the vibe. And once I catch a vibe, uh, it definitely goes into, you know, uh, what what do I want the song to be about? Mm -hmm. Topic, subject. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then from there, I'll try to go on into actually writing the song. But yeah, I literally think of the subject first. So I think of if I want this song to be about, you know, or not necessarily the subject, but just the lane I'm in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it could be a song that's more for women. It could be a song that's more for the club. Yeah. It could be a song that's more for the car, when you just riding. It could be a serious song. It could be a song to smoke to. It could be a song to just dance to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's so much stuff. It could be a funny song. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you just... Like Many vibes. Vibes. Yeah, man. Which is obviously my two older brothers, uh, P.A. and Pico. Hey, and shout, shout out to, to my brothers. Pico, yeah, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And they were like two big, obviously, entrepreneurs yeah. of the movement, yeah. the hip-hop movement Damn. in our area. And the Flyboy Click movement, mm -hmm. and that that was that was huge. What we were talking about earlier, but um, so I grew up with them, obviously. So obviously the the sauce gonna drip on me yeah. from them too. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. So I was destined to be a beast anyway. And then obviously like we we I linked up with certain artists like uh, Money Boy Vicious. You know what I'm saying? Got a good boy. Shout out to my boy Money Boy yeah. Vicious. They dropping S A N three coming out soon. Yeah, get that. You feel me? Stay tuned for that. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, like, he's been a big influence on me, big brother to me. He's done shows, took me with him on tour, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, a lot of big things I've seen that I wouldn't have been able to see, you know what I'm saying, without bro, so shout out to him. And it got me, like, prepared for where I'm at now, you know what I'm saying? Like, now I can step in front of so many big crowds yeah, yeah. and just you know what I'm saying and, you, you comfortable up and be comfortable you yeah. know what I'm saying it's like man I did this you know what I'm saying even if it wasn't like it was supporting you know my bro at the time or whatever he just going along with him like they grew me as an artist you know what I'm saying and then like a, a big versed rapper out here uh, Young Sickness I don't know if y'all ever heard of him you know what I'm saying but he is definitely like legend in Merced you know what I'm saying like for just kind of that playground like type of, of rapper like yeah. he on the block and he just got the hottest flow 
Yeah. Like, and everybody in, in town knows it. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he definitely inspired my older brother to get on his rap game, and I think that trickled down to everybody else, and it just spread like wildfire. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Sick. Shout out to Sickness. Shout out to Vicious, PA, Pico, Philly, Post Squad. Don't try to be an overnight success. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Play the long term game. You know what I mean? Like mm. play, try, play the, like get okay. Everybody wants to try to have go viral. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the big thing. But the, if you go viral, like none of those people really know you. If you have a million fans overnight, like they just watching you. They don't really. They never. They didn't grow with you through your journey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think. Like, I think it's quality over quantity sometimes and not to say that it's not good to go viral like if you do you know what i'm saying but awesome yeah, yeah, yeah. if you do awesome yeah, like yeah. you know what i'm saying lucky you but at the same time to shoot to go viral mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying is i don't i think you know what i'm saying like the where people are kind of like counterproductive yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. like you really like it's the tortoise and the hare mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like slow which is steady. my daughter's favorite story that i read her y your daughter's already a uh, wise <laughs> young girl you know what i'm saying she probably get it from you you know nah but for real though like you know what i'm saying like it's just uh, a big factor to me tortoise and the hare you know what i'm saying so slow and steady wins the race um uh, you know what i'm saying because if you're always just sprinting 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 you're gonna get tired, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, uh, you know, you're gonna wonder why it's not working, but you're not slowing down, like, and really getting the process, absorbing everything, and try to learn everything about the about the industry, from the production. Like, don't just be an a artist, I think. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, definitely. you gotta learn what all the buttons do. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, yeah. so you can produce yourself at some point, or another artist, you know what I mean? Like, and just keep giving, you know what I mean? I gave you way too many tries to get your shit together. So no, we still can't be friends. When you fell out the game, you gotta watch. Actually, with Live Me, man, we just signed a deal, a, a little uh, two-year contract. Hey, you know, you know get some. Congratulations <laughs> on that, you feel me? Uh, so, you know what I'm saying, like, it's big for me, you know what I'm saying, like, um, just to have them backing me um, on certain stuff, you know what I mean? But for the most part, uh, you know, it's definitely still all AO doing this thing independent, you know what I'm saying, like, and uh, so, but uh, we got the clothing line coming out, you mm -hmm. feel me? I'm dropping my brand merchandise, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be dropping soon, so stay on the lookout for that. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be on aogear.com. Okay. Uh, so you wanna stay tuned for that. That's yeah, we got the website fire, dropping. Y'all better be ready. Got that. the website dropping. It's gonna be, you know, a couple of tees and tanks and like hoodies and stuff for the fall. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get the beanies popping. And like, you know, just the clothing lines coming out soon, so that's big. Obviously more music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a visual dropping soon. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Jay Cannon. Hey. Stay tuned for the video. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, so the visuals, we're dropping visuals soon. All that's gonna be on the website too. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna have basically one stop shop where you can go check out the videos, you can go check out the connect to my social medias. You can find me live, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that. Like, we're just gonna put it all in one spot. You can get the merchandise, you can get the music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. just a lot going on yeah, right now, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's dope though, man. <laughs> it is, it and is. I, and, I'm, and I'm glad that you're staying busy. I'm glad that, you know, you're keeping at it. Most artists, you know, we know we've seen them all come and go. Man. We've seen them, uh, and one thing that is key in this game is being consistent, and that's what I have to commend you on. You stay consistent, you're always working, you're always reinventing yourself. And for that, brother, I thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. I'm on the grind with my team, so if you tryna get lit, then follow me, cause I'm about to go live. Yeah, I got a new Instagram too. It's uh underscore AOCam underscore. So you know what I'm saying, check that out. Uh follow me there, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Support. Tap in. You know what I'm saying? Tap in. My old Instagram just kinda glitched out on me. So if you follow me, like the, the number count won't go up, so I had to start a whole new one. But it's cool though. 
Anyways, follow me there. Um, check me out on Live Me. Hey, yo, Cam, just look me up. Download the app. Look me up. Use my code on my Instagram for free coins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's lit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks, Papa. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Bro. Hey, yo, Cam. Got to go there. Thank you.